All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking real music in real time for a few real people out there, just like you and me. Again, sad news about George Tickner, the original rhythm guitar player for Journey, helped write a bunch of songs with Journey on those first three albums. By the way, for clarification, because my brain doesn't always work properly, um, it's Journey's debut, followed by Look Into the Future, and then the album Next. All right, which from a, a chronological standpoint doesn't make a lot of sense because you think you'd have journey and then next and then look into the future. But okay, uh, I messed that up yesterday. So again, my apologies to all of the rockologists out there. Uh, I had the double album um, in the beginning. I think it was called Two Records Set. Really cool. Um, that's how I went back in time and got my dose of uh, early journey, and I really liked it. Um, and here's a guy who went to see Steve Perry in 1981, but I enjoyed all of the journey material on those first three albums. I would say listen to it, especially in light of what's been happening in the world of music today. Those albums were very organic. Uh, there's a lot of great uh, guitar work by Neil Sean and some great songwriting. Um, this is what Neil Sean said yesterday. By the way, uh, George Techner, I hate to say this, but uh, no cause of death um, for George who passed away at age 76. Neil Sean says, you will be missed immensely. Uh, Techner went on to get his PhD after he left the music world. Uh, Sean also posted that uh, Of a Lifetime is still one of his favorite songs ever. Uh, rest in peace, brother, Godspeed. So uh, this hit Neil Sean pretty hard. Uh, I'm fairly certain that uh, he hadn't seen George Tickner since the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which is, what, like 20 years ago. And if you go look at pictures, I mean, this is everybody who participated in Journey. Uh, George Tickner was not inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which... I think it's kind of a mistake. I think it's kind of a mistake. Here's the reason. Because those first three albums were foundational. Um, you won't see George, though, prominently in photos with the band or anything like that, I think, on the first record. Uh, but then uh, George tends to be more in the background than in the foreground. And it's mostly uh, Ross Valerie, Greg Raleigh, uh, Ainsley Dunbar, and Neil Sean. Uh, by the way, Ainsley Dunbar replaced Prairie Prince. A lot of people don't realize it. Prairie Prince uh, spent some time with Journey, would later go on to be in the tubes. So it's that San Francisco, California connection there. Prairie Prince, a great drummer. Ainsley Dunbar, a great drummer. Journey has always had great drummers. Um, Anyway, it goes on here to say, while Journey are best known for their FM classic rock hits, the group actually played progressive rock early in its career prior to singer Steve Perry joining the band. Journey's 1975 self-titled debut is held in high regard among prog circles, and it's the only Journey LP to feature the guitar work from Tickner before he departed to earn a PhD at Stanford University Medical School. All in all, Tickner wrote or co-wrote three of the seven songs on the debut, including the aforementioned opener of a lifetime, and also has writing credits for You're On Your Own, and I'm Gonna Leave You. That's the song I think that inspired, we'll say it that way, inspired Carry On My Wayward Son, uh, or it's just a freaky coincidence that some of those guitar riffs seem a bit similar. So again, Look Into the Future, and then the album next, after Look Into the Future. So that's my bad. Following his stint in Journey, Tickner was largely uninvolved in the music business, though he did co-found a recording studio uh, called The Hive and participated in a short-lived project called VTR with Ross Valerie and Stevie Keys Roseman, who played on Journey's 1981 Top 40 hit, The Party's Over, which, by the way is really a blueprint of a song for what's going to happen on Don't Stop Believing." Go listen to the way the song is structured and you'll understand. 
And uh, I think Journey needs to bring that back uh, in their set list because it's a song I think hardcore Journey fans really miss. Um, that was the song that was trying to break the band, basically, on Top 40 and push them to uh, greater heights. Uh, did really well on rock stations, as I like to say, but people forget about all of these songs because the rock format has morphed into something completely different, and classic rock does not take any chances and play music like The Party's Over. Again, a cause of death has yet to be reported. Condolences go out to Tickner's family and the Journey camp at this time. Uh, you know, in Of a Lifetime, like I said in the other video I did, which I took down because of the errors I made in the video, um, Of a Lifetime became kind of a theme to the 50th anniversary. So George Tickner, very important to Journey, um, probably should have been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He did certainly get some recognition on the Hollywood uh, rock, Walk of Fame. I was going to say Rock of Fame, but it's a Walk of Fame. And uh, he's standing right next to Steve Perry. And I'm thinking he's standing next to Perry <laughs> as a buffer. <laughs> Although I think John Kane might be standing on the other side of Steve Perry in the photo. Uh, if not, it was probably a good idea uh, the way they positioned everybody in that photo. I'm not sure Steve Perry wanted to be there, but he certainly wanted to get credit and recognition. And uh, it makes a lot of sense. But you've got pretty much everybody uh, who'd been in Journey uh, standing there accepting their star on the Walk of Fame. All right, so that's my little correction video. Again, uh, for you folks that are concerned with discography and chronology, chronological order, Journey's debut, followed by Look Into the Future, and then Next, and then Infinity. All right, so that's the way it goes. Technically, I think, what, Next begins that series of uh, one named, one word, album titles unless you look at the first album you could say the first album is the same because it's just journey um, but look into the future breaks that so my favorite album of the three is look into the future and that's why i tend to put a lot of emphasis on that particular album and then i got it messed up in the order to which uh, the albums came out so there you have it folks uh, george techner definitely a pioneer uh, for the band journey and certainly will be missed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Patreon, if you want to support the channel, dollar a month, two bucks a month, whatever you can afford. It's a good way to reach out to me if you have something to say or something to share. Typically, I read those comments uh, every few hours over on Patreon. I try to. And then YouTube memberships, if you'd like to support the channel, that's another good way to help uh, because uh, the algorithm is is not my friend right now and it was a few years ago but it's it's not anymore so uh, if you can help offset some of that the channel is just going to continue the way it is sometimes we do political commentary here sometimes we mix music and politics sometimes i'll talk about cultural stuff and somehow uh, weave it into the videos so Again, appreciate everybody here. Thanks again. God bless, and uh, we'll talk soon.